If your Texas house was destroyed by Hurricane Harvey, you can get emergency funds unless you support the boycott of Israel. I'm not joking. 21 U.S. states have passed similar laws, which ban state funds going to people or businesses who choose to boycott Israel, a country which a recent U.N. report has labeled an apartheid regime. But America was born on boycotting. Remember Britain? Taxes? Tea? Ring a bell? And now, survivors in Dixon, Texas, filing for emergency funds, have to sign a contract stating the applicant does not boycott Israel and will not boycott Israel during the term of this agreement. The state government is plainly telling its citizens that either they get to keep their right to boycott or they can get help rebuilding their homes. What kind of choice is that? Strong-arming folks who have just suffered a disaster, lost everything into signing away their constitutional rights for the term of this agreement, which is what, forever? And it doesn't stop there. A church in Kansas recently urged its members not to buy products from companies which profit from Israel's illegal occupation of Palestine. A math teacher who is a member of this Mennonite church has since been barred from working as a state contractor after she refused to say that she wasn't boycotting Israel. How can a government punish a people for what amounts to a thought crime. Imagine civil rights proponents in the 60s being told you either buy cookies from the KKK or you don't get electricity. Or women in America's suffrage movement being granted the right to vote as long as they don't push for equal pay. Remember these folks? They lived in a senior citizen home in Dixon. If they were that Mennonite church collectively boycotting Israel, would the government just leave them to drown? Sorry, y'alls know the rules. You buy from Israel or else. And let's get something straight. It should not be illegal to boycott Israel. It isn't anti-American and it isn't anti-Semitic. It's an individual's choice which the free and fair government of America should keep out of. Because without boycotting, where would America be?